The Biden administration is reopening a second Trump era border facility, this one in Carrizo Springs, Texas, to house unaccompanied migrant children, a significant policy shift for the Biden administration. They're called influx care facilities, and they've been used in emergency cases as early as 2019. Detaining unaccompanied migrant children in the United States has been a subject of ongoing controversy. President Biden ran on overturning former President Trump's immigration actions, including the facility to house migrant children. I'm not making new law. I'm eliminating bad policy. Um, what I'm doing is taking on the issues that 99% of them, that the president, the last president of the United States, issued executive orders I thought were very counterproductive to our security, counterproductive to who we are as a country, particularly in, uh, in, uh, in the area of immigration. However, Biden's Department of Health and Human Services temporarily reopened the influx care facility in Carrizo Springs in February 2021. The facility could begin seeing unaccompanied minors as early as today. Both the Trump and Biden administrations have dealt with growing numbers of unaccompanied minors at the border and have faced backlash over potential violations of legal protections. Allegations surfaced that children were being detained in adult facilities under unsafe and unsanitary conditions, described as juvenile prisons. For example, Jennifer Costello, the 2019 acting DHS inspector general, said children at three of the five Border Patrol facilities visited had no access to showers. We are gravely concerned about the conditions that we see in the, in the CBP facilities at the border. And we are concerned that it could lead to uh, additional security incidents and obviously high risk of disease. While the Carrizo Springs site housed migrant teenagers in 2021, it will reportedly feature extra facilities and higher standards of care in this new phase. Thanks for watching. Straight Arrow News is on a mission to bring you unbiased, fact based reporting, and we're succeeding. Two leaders in media bias monitoring talk to viewers just like you and confirm we're delivering the news right down the middle. So if you prefer a source that gives it to you straight, catch all the unbiased content at san.com.